standard beef and cheddar. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Bentley, do you want a beef and cheddar? Do you want a beef and cheddar? Do you want a beef and cheddar? Do you? So, those of you who don't know, I am from PA, and it seems that we are gonna get crushed with a blizzard. So, rolling out with the squad, gotta pick up the essentials. Where are they at? But anyway, rolling squad deep, Bentley, Bane, and there's Brody. Handsome, handsome fellas. But anyway, gotta pick up the essentials. And uh, looks like we're gonna be snowed in. That'll be it. All right, so we have a medium decent cheddar and a regular mozzarella stick. Yep. That'll be $8.46. You can pull through and uh, thank you. Thank you. Arby's coming in clutch. Haven't eaten since lunchtime. It's now like 7.30. Catabolic as fuck. So I ended up going with Ho Garden. If you haven't tried it, highly suggest it. It is a uh, Belgian wheat. The original Belgian wheat is what they say. And then Blue Moon, which is uh, pretty common. But Ho Garden is better. Higher quality, it's just got this, it's got this unique taste. It's still, you could tell like a Belgian beer, but um, Belgian wheat, but it's uh, it's just got a little extra flavor to it. I don't know delicious if you haven't tried it got to do it It's like a 9 out of 10 Honestly, I drink everything as you can see here my mini fridge is Not stocked, but typically you will see Corona a Couple of these There was just Heineken in here so I drink a variety of beers, um, not like super particular, but Corona, uh, Ho Garden, Blue Moon, and then Heineken would probably be another one. Those are uh, those are the beers I drink. So we are in the fucking Whitney Whitney Strength and Performance Training Facility, aka my garage. Not training today, it is a rest day. I am feeling pretty damn beat up. So it's gonna feel good, take this day off. It's looking like tomorrow we're gonna be snowed in. Apparently there's a legit blizzard coming and we're getting like 20 inches of snow. So I'll probably be training uh, right here in the good old Rogue Rack. Um, bench and Bench and I'm not sure what else since I'm here and there's not a whole lot of options. Might have to get creative. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try out maybe a little more of this like vlog style. Give you guys a little bit of insight and uh, I don't know, see if I can make it entertaining for you.
what's going on guys we are in the middle of bench just got done hitting a top set 375 for three backing down to 345 for three more sets of three low volume day but a little bit heavier weight um typically i would be doing even more but i have these damn generic um barbell just standard like generic barbell plates they are not the correct weight i've i've weighed all of them and they're all like 47 48 pounds so i don't really care i just count what's on the damn plate so whatever it turns out to be it turns out to be but i just feeling pretty good just uh positioning maintaining tightness uh everything feels pretty locked in really need to get my bench back up Prior to straining this left pec, um, I, w I hit 450 in the gym, which um, was the best that I've done in a long time. I actually hit, I, I over a year ago, I used to hit 455 in the gym, and uh, that was, again, before the first pec strain I had. So kind of had to restart again, got back up to 450, and that was also with the new wider grip. And I was all pumped about that. I was feeling better, like my bench was feeling better than ever. I hit like 485 with a slingshot. Easily the strongest I probably have ever been. And then strained my pec. And it was on a stupid day. Um, I shouldn't even have been at the gym. It was coming off of a drill weekend. I had ju just drove like two and a half hours tired from the weekend not sleeping much and i knew i just wanted to get to the gym and train because i'm stubborn and uh sometimes you need to take those rest days because it was a heavy day i think i was hitting like eight sets of one it was like eight sets of 405 and on the last set i strained my pec so sometimes when you're just feeling fatigue and your body's taxed and you're like should i go or shouldn't i go it's not always, you know, force yourself to go. Um, I know that's like the the no pain, no game, or whatever you hear this bullshit on Instagram. Sometimes it's just smart to take that rest day, come back the next day, and train better, and get more out of it, and stay injury free. If you're powerlifting, this is a fucking marathon. Usually the strongest guys are the guys who've been injury free the longest. So that's my goal now. I'm pretty new to this yet, even though I've been competing for uh, like two and a half years, training for a lot longer than that. But I'm planning on being around for a while. And if you're injured all the time, it's hard to do. So that's why you've noticed I've backed down the weights a lot in all three lifts because I've been banged up for too long. And uh, I'm only 26, so we have a lot of years to go, we have a lot of years to train, a lot of years to get stronger. And that's ultimately the goal. Big numbers in mind. I ended up ranting way too long. I gotta hit this last set. Oh, I keep 